Hello fellow orchid lovers, it's Danielle here with a brief video about how to deal with rot um, on your stem of your Phalaenopsis orchid. So occasionally this will happen, it could be for a number of reasons. Sometimes when we receive um, our orchids from the store or from the nursery, we don't really know what they've been exposed to. That's why I always emphasize that it's a really good idea to keep your eye on your new orchids and not just assume that everything's going well with them. Um, because you can catch uh, things in time to deal with them um, before the orchid takes a downward turn and you can't save them. So this is um, one of my newer orchids actually. This is the one that I got to replace uh, the one that my dog destroyed. So she came with quite a, quite a bit of blooms. Um, the spikes started dying back, but I really didn't take notice because I got her in full bloom, so I don't know how long she was in bloom, so the fact that her blooms were dropping were not really something that was indicating to me that there was a problem. However, her um, roots started to go. So as you can see, um, anyone that follows me knows when the, the velamen starts to die, I do take the velamen off and leave the root intact. Um, in my mind, it's better to have something that can draw water up to the plant, even if it's just moisture and not actually acting like a straw. Um, a Phalaenopsis roots, that you have the velamen on the outside, which is this fleshy material, and then on the inside you have this part, which actually brings the nutrients and the water to the plant. The velamen just kind of acts like a sponge and helps uh, the roots stay moist so that it can give um, the plant nutrients. Um, many times they'll go brown and that that can mean that you know it's no longer really functioning as a root but it will absorb water and bring it to the stem and so therefore i leave them intact especially when an orchid is losing its roots like this one is um, because i want to give the plant a fighting chance and if i cut all of this off there will be no way for me to, to keep um, the plant you know getting nutrients and water uh, so i do leave this on um, you can see right here where I recently removed some rotting velamen, the root is still green. So this root is still alive. Um, it may not stay alive, but right now um, it is capable of hydrating the plant. So I really don't cut this off um, until the, the orchid has new roots. Um, again, it may not be acting or functioning properly. It may not be, you know, sucking the nutrients up, but the water, you know, will travel up, up this to the stem. Um, not necessarily because the plant is drawing it up, but because, you know, water loves itself. So if something gets damp, it's gonna follow that all the way up. So that's that's why I leave these intact. Um, as you can see, quite a few of her roots are going downhill. Um, this is still firm. So I only removed the part of the velamen that is, you know, mushy or, you know, you'll begin to understand what a mushy root looks like. Like you can see there how it's kind of going opaque. That means that that root is starting to die. And um, so eventually this is also gonna need to be trimmed. So, but I leave this intact because I wanna give the orchid, you know, as much chance as possible to survive whatever's going on with her. And she can still hydrate using this. This root is still alive. So until it's completely dead, and until this velamen rots, I'm keeping it on there. Um, she does have some more roots coming out on top here, so hopefully you know, they'll start to get growing tips and start to grow. Um, but as I was inspecting this plant to see why her roots were starting to die back, I noticed something. And that's why I decided to make this video because I've run into this one or two times now, and it's something that you need to act quickly. Um, whether due to water getting trapped in between the leaves or whatever the circumstance may be, this orchid is developing some rot. And I know it's gonna be kind of hard for you guys to see, um, but I know, yeah, I mean, you can see the black. That is rot, the stem is rotting. So I have successfully treated this before um, and I'm gonna attempt to do it again this time. So there was a leaf here, I ripped it off, um, it wasn't ready to fall off, but in order to treat the rot, I had to remove the leaf. Uh, so I, I did take the leaf off and then I went with tweezers and I pulled the leaf joint away from everywhere. Um, this root, it broke while I was doing that and unfortunately that's a casualty of this process, but it is very important to treat 
rot, especially on your Phalaenopsis orchids, as soon as possible um, because they only get one stem. <laughs> it's not like, um, you know, a Cattleya where they have a number of pseudobulbs and you can just cut part of the plant off and the part that's not affected can, you know, live. A Phalaenopsis, it's one shot. If this stem rots, that's it. So um, this, is, this is how we're going to deal with stem rot. Since it is stem rot and not crown rot, um, there is a better chance that we'll be able to save this orchid. So what I'm gonna be using is I'm gonna be using a little bit of cinnamon and I take a Q-tip and I'm gonna to try to do this on film, which I've never done before. So, um, you know, if, if I don't do the greatest job filming, I do apologize. So I'm just gonna dab the cinnamon right where that rot is. And, you know, I'm gonna go in and make sure I do a an extensive job. I don't want to do a lot on film because I do want to avoid touching the actual roots with the cinnamon because the cinnamon will dry out and, and kill the roots. So when you're putting cinnamon on your orchids, make sure you're not getting it on um, roots because the cinnamon will dry out the roots. You know, we're putting it on the rot because it will dry out the rot. <laughs> it will also do that to the roots and kill the roots. So be very careful when you're applying cinnamon to your orchids. Um, that you don't get it on roots. Um, I, I don't know how it does on the leaves. I would assume, you know, if you drop a lot on the leaves, it's probably not a good idea, but um, definitely the roots, because they're made to absorb, will absorb the cinnamon, and the cinnamon will dry them out, and it will kill your roots. So um, be very careful. Um, you know, a, a fleck or two is not going to make much of a difference, but if you dump, a, if you just took this orchid and dumped cinnamon <laughs> on it, um, you'd have a problem. So we're going to put some more on after I'm done filming um, and I'll, you know, give you updates and let you know what happens with her. Like I've said, she's not the first Phalaenopsis that I found this with. And like I said, it could be that I made a mistake and accidentally got some water in between the leaves. Um, I haven't had her that long, so it may just be that that happened while she wasn't in my care. I really don't know. I don't know why um, she developed some stem rot. Um, and it's not because it's water culture, you know, I know there's people out there that think water culture is terrible, but I have, uh, oh, I counted the other day and I told someone, I think it's like 25 Phalaenopsis all growing in water culture and they're not all dying. They're all doing really well. <laughs> so I uh, don't jump to that conclusion, but um, yeah, so we'll treat her and we'll see if we can save her. Um, I, I have high hopes, like I said, I did this before and the orchid, you know, bounced back. The cinnamon worked like a dream. Um, so I will give you updates, but I just wanted to share this method with you. Um, and again, just emphasize, inspect your orchids. You know, I know that everyone's busy and doesn't have a lot of time, but you know, at least once every couple weeks, just take them out, take a look, because you will notice something like this and it could be the difference between your orchid suddenly dying and you not knowing what the heck happened and you catching something in time, treating it, and the orchid going on to live a long and healthy life. So if you have any questions, let me know. I hope that this video um, made sense and you guys understood what I was trying to get across. Um, I know I tend to um, run on a bit and I apologize for that. <laughs> um, but I hope you're all having a great week and I will talk to you all next time.